Lucy and her guide bring the address. Good evening, friends. It is indeed with joy that we come into your church once again to leave with you one or two ideas that might take root, that might bring forth fruit, that might give you cause to alter your thinking, or that might just slip by as another word that doesn't mean much to you. How many of you sitting in this church can cast your minds back and think of addresses, of sermons, of talks that you heard even a year ago, six months ago, last week? You have to remember always that those who come to speak to you whether they speak from their own minds, whether they are controlled from spirit, whether they are in deep trance, that the messages that are given out are given in love. But they are received in different ways by different people. If you ask six people who listen to an address. At the end of a week, what was said, you would probably get six different replies. Because what one person can find in an address is different from what another finds. Each one of you upon the earth plane is an individual you are unique. There is no other person exactly like you upon the earth plane, or indeed upon the spirit side of life. And because you are unique, because you are one, because you are individual, so you are at an individual part of your journey. We have said before, and we do not apologize for repeating it, that being eternal, eternal spirits, implies not only that you go on living after you have finished with the earth plane, but that you were living before you came to earth. You are spirit, spirits eternal. Spirits that are, are on an eternal pilgrimage. And so, before you came to the earth plane, you had an individuality on the other side of life. An individuality that you will resume when you leave your body behind. This period upon earth is like going to a school to learn certain lessons. And the life that you live here, the circumstances that surround you, the family into which you were born, the way in which you were brought up, your education, the main facts of your life, they were decided by you before you came to the body before you came to earth. And it is as if you took an overall and put it on, and in that overall you could work, you could use tools, you could make things, you could create. And every one of you has the power to create, you may look upon creation as being, composing, painting beautiful pictures, writing poetry or prose that inspires people. But creativity is far more than just what you can see or what you can hear. Creativity 
is the essence of you, the individuality of you. You create as you go through life. And whether you create darkness or light, whether you give help or whether you give hindrance, that is all a part of the individual. We often think that those of you who come to earth, and when you get towards the twilight of your days here, you look back and think of the missed opportunities. You think of the disappointments. You think of the things that you left undone that you could have done, of the words you could have spoken and kept quiet. But you forget so often all the good things that you have done in your lives. You tend to forget the helping hand that you gave. You tend to forget the things, the little things in life, that mean so much and yet seem so insignificant. During your lifetime on earth, each one of you will come up against obstacles. Some of them will be huge. Some of them will overwhelm you. The death of a loved one, of a child. The handicap that somebody faces. The things that perhaps you did that were not to the best of your ability. But each one of these is, is an obstacle that you have got to surmount. And none of you are given tasks that are too difficult for you. If you do have a hard road to hoe, if you do have a difficult life, then it is because you are stronger than, than other people, because you have more power, because you are more capable of dealing with it. The big obstacles in life, you seem to get an added strength to cope with, but often it is the little things in life that are the most difficult. in your prayer that you have just said. You speak about loving, forgiving. It is easy to forgive someone at a distance, but not so easy to forgive someone who aggravates you every day. It is not easy to give love to the next door neighbor who plays his radio too loud or to the villain who comes and commits crimes on your doorstep, to the maniac on the road who speeds and overtakes other vehicles and crashes, killing someone in the end. These things are things of earth that are not big obstacles but they are the pinpricks that you have got to face, that you have got to tackle. And he who tackles them in the right way, giving love to the people concerned, will have achieved a greater victory than someone who overcomes a major obstacle. Your life on earth is not easy. It never will be. It is because it is difficult that you are here. And it is because of the difficulties that you have come into spiritualism. You have come into a realization that earth is just one 
incident upon your pathway and that when you come to the end of your life here, you will go on into another stage of existence. It is difficult to lose a loved one. You miss the physical presence, and it is right that you should mourn that, because mourning is a way of helping you to get over the shock. And even when someone has been ill for years and you know that it is a happy release when they go into spirit and leave the broken body behind, even then there is the sense of loss. Do not be afraid to mourn. Do not be afraid to show your sympathy to those who are left behind. On your earth plane at the present time, there are thousands of souls being ejected suddenly from their bodies and coming into a new life on our side. We have the task of meeting them and of mending their broken bodies, their broken souls, and of helping them along their pathway. You on the earth plane have the job of tending those who are left behind. You cannot give comfort person to person often, but you can send out your loving thoughts to those who are left behind, praying that they too may know the joy of the understanding of life eternal, praying that they may have the assurance that you have that death is not the end, but the beginning of another stage. We look down upon your earth plane, and patches of it seem very, very dark, and yet there are pinpoints of light all over your world because man is beginning to understand his origins. He is beginning to seek the truth. He is beginning to look forward. He is beginning to understand his fellowship with the things of earth his kinship with the world of nature. Spirit is in everything that has life, in the tree, in the bird, in the butterfly, in the insect, in the flowers, in the birds, in everything that has life, there is a part of God, a part of spirit. And every part of spirit is on the same pathway that you are, the pathway that will eventually lead towards union with God. We cannot put it into words for you, because we cannot see the end of what is just a beginning. We can only tell you that when you leave your body behind and come over to our side of life, you will bring with you the character that you have built while you have been in a body of earth. You will bring the experiences that you have had during your lifetime. You will bring your memories, the things that you have forgotten, the things that you will always remember. They will all be there for you to see, for you to evaluate, for you to judge. You do not see the whole of your life in a flash when you come to spirit. It is revealed gradually as you grow in understanding as you develop spiritually, 
so you will see more and more of your life upon earth, and you will know whether you have achieved what you came to do when you left the spirit world to enter the body of matter. We have said many, many times that the most important thing upon earth is for you to have love in your hearts, in your minds, and sh to show it in your deeds and your actions. To give it un unstintingly to those with whom you come into contact. Give a smile. Give a word of comfort, a word of cheer, a word of greeting. And may we make one last appeal that we have given so many times and yet it is so important. When you hear of a good deed, when you come against somebody who shows the love of God in their lives, when you hear some good news, then pass it on. You are subjected day after day to the bad news in your world. And at times you tend to think that everything is dark here. But we can tell you that there are lights. Your church makes such a light. Your circles make such a light. Your individuality makes a light when you link up with spirit. And those lights are beginning to glow ever brighter. Always remember that it is the light that shows up the dark. And it is because the lights are so bright that the dark seems so black. You have got a job to do. Because you are spiritualists, because you know something of the reality of life eternal, because you know that you are spirit here in a body of matter, so you have got the responsibility of spreading that light around you as you go through life. Give a smile. Give a greeting. Give happiness. And you will have worked your pathway in the way in which you intended before you came to earth. Good night, and God bless you all. God bless you.